Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So today we're just gonna do a good old full face of new stuff. A lot of this is first impressions. I haven't tried it out. So we're gonna do this nice kind of purpley smoky eye. Aether just launched today uh, these new mini palettes. So that's what I'm gonna be using on my eyes today and I'll show you what that looks like. And then I've got some other new stuff from Oxygenetics, Milk, Lawless. So we're just kind of dabbling in a bunch of little things, a bunch of new things. And we're just gonna sit back and relax and have fun and just play with some makeup. There's no pressure, There's, I, I really didn't have a look in mind. I just sat down and just wanted to play with some new makeup and just have fun today. And I'm feeling all the fall vibes today. It's actually quite chilly. So I put on a nice big cozy sweater, my favorite hat from Carly Jean Los Angeles. I will link both of these down below if you're curious. But I just haven't been able to wear a sweater and because uh, it's just been hasn't been like cool enough and it's finally cool enough today. So I'm feeling all the cozy fall vibes today. So make sure you grab something hot to drink, hot cocoa, hot tea, coffee, whatever you need, maybe maybe a little whiskey, um, you know, just depending on uh, what time of the day it is. Hopefully it's not eight in the morning, but uh, I've got some hot coffee here and we're going to go ahead and get into it. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to try out a bunch of new stuff. Um, I've already done my skincare routine, but I wanted to apply a little bit of this moisturizer on camera. I've been using it off camera uh, ever since I got it, and I have been loving it so much. This is the Oxygenetics Oxygenating Hydro Matrix, so looks like this. Y'all know that I love the Oxygenetics Foundation, so um, I've just been absolutely loving this. The ingredients, the, um, what is the Cerevite uh, complex that they have in the moisturizer is in the foundation, so very similar ingredients, and I just feel like this has been helping out my skin so much, and I feel like that's why my skin is looking so nice right now. So I'm going to take a pump of this, just like that. And just apply this all over the face. I've been using this morning and night, and I just absolutely love it. I love this brand. Everything I've tried has just been amazing. Their foundation is my favorite foundation of all time. So, so good. All right, so for foundation, I'm actually going to use my Oxygenetics Oxygenating Foundation. They have this formulation and then they have an acne formulation. I use the original formulation. I get a lot of questions about which one I use. I like the original. I've never tried the acne one, um, but I believe that one has salicylic acid in it and I find that this just works great for me. Um, and I use the shade taupe in this. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit. This stuff is gold. It is so expensive and you only get half an ounce in this little bottle so I'm just gonna take a tiny bit on my fingertips and just kind of work this into the skin my skin's actually looking quite nice so I don't feel like I need a ton of coverage and then any extra coverage that I need I'll just use my concealer but I took about half a pump and that's all that I'm using for my entire face for concealer, I'm going to take my Rare Beauty Concealer. I don't have a new concealer, and this is basically my newest concealer that I have. So I'm just going to take this in the usual places, and I use the shade 220C. All right, hopefully this lighting is a little bit better. All the joys of using natural light. But, oh, this concealer looks so nice. Love this foundation. I wish I could use this foundation every time I filmed, but it's just so expensive. I only pull it out when I really, really need it. So anyway, such a pretty combo. All right, so for powder, um, I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Trin, what is this called? I don't even know what this is called. It's their Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder. And I originally wanted to try this when I did my full face of milk 
like a year ago or whenever I did that um, but I just ended up never picking it up and um, I finally picked it up because I've been so curious to try it I've heard really great things and um, yeah so I've played around with this a little bit I'm still kind of getting used to it I didn't love it the first time I used it so I'm gonna continue to play around with it it takes me a while to really kind of get used to powders and figure out how I like to use them so it takes me a little bit so uh, I will definitely let y'all know what I think in the future but I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade translucent medium and it's got this nice little net here so it doesn't get too too messy and I'm going to use this to set my set my entire face but I'm gonna start with the smaller brush set my under eyes and my t-zone and then I'll use a larger brush to set the rest of my face All right, so the powder is looking really nice today. I actually really like how everything's looking. So definitely looks a lot better than the last time I applied it. So again, I'll just kind of keep playing with it and let y'all know. So I have a new highlighter from the brand Lawless. And the only thing that I've tried from Lawless is their translucent powder. I've never tried anything else. So uh, they actually sent me a few things to try. I have not used any of these a true first impressions but they sent me their lucid skin highlighter in the shade afternoon delight I don't know if this is their only shade I feel like it is um, but yeah I'm super excited to try this out today and uh, I'm quite picky about powder highlights so we'll see how this goes I'm just gonna take a little bit on my brush Ooh, so right off the bat that looks really pretty it's not chunky I can see little flecks of sparkle but really pretty it doesn't look chunky at all which is my biggest complaint with powder highlighters I find that they can often just look very either metallic or chunky or glittery that looks really pretty it reminds me a lot of the RMS one that I like and when you touch it it feels very stiff and very dry but when you apply it, it actually looks quite nice awesome all right well I will keep playing around with this as well but so far that looks gorgeous I love the way that that looks on my skin so I don't have a new bronzer so I'm gonna take my well people baked bronzer the pressed version and just very lightly bronze up the skin And then I do have a new blush from Lawless as well. This is their Make Me Blush Velvet Blush. And all of their powder products are talc free. Um, I forgot to mention that. But this is in the shade Vintage Love. I haven't tried this either. But this is what she looks like. It's a nice kind of mauve color. A little different than what I would normally reach for, but... I really like these tones for the fall and winter time, so, and it appears to be matte. So I'm gonna try this out today. Ooh. All right, now that's gorgeous. That is absolutely stunning. It's not patchy, super, super easy to blend. Oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. I love that. Really, really pretty. All right, cool. Well, I love the highlighter and I love the blush so far. So we are off to a good start. Really impressed. So I'm taking a risk. I have this Ciate Everyday Vacay Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. And I was looking at the ingredients and it does have coconut extract in it so I'm gonna try it anyway <laughs> uh, but this is what the packaging looks like really pretty so hopefully the mister let's see Ooh, I don't know about that mister all right let's try this 
So I'm gonna take my sponge and kind of blend that out. Skin is looking bomb though. Oh my gosh, so pretty. All of these products are just looking so gorgeous. All right, so I have a new brow product. Um, I am, I picked up the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow in the shade Herb. So, hello. A little brow gel. I actually wanted to try this way back when as well, but I just didn't pick it up. So, it's got this tiny little wand. So, I'm going to run this, excuse me, I'm going to run this through my brows and then I'll fill them in with a pencil. But I haven't tried this either, so we'll see how this goes. Alright, so right off the bat, it's a little messy. It tends to really kind of stick to the skin. Um, but other than that, it looks really nice. So I'm going to take my plume brow pencil and just fill in the gaps. So for the eyes, this is probably the part that I'm the most excited about because this is a brand new launch from Aether and Aether makes some of my favorite eyeshadows. I love the formula and they came out with the cutest little mini crystal palettes. So there are two variations, Ametrine and Topaz and I got Ametrine, I believe. Yes, I got Amatrine. So Topaz has these more has these more kind of warmer shades, and then the one we're going to play with today is Amatrine. So they each have four shades. They're going to retail for $24. They actually launch today as I'm posting this. Uh, they are made with rosehip oil, moringa oil, uh, which are both uh, rich in vitamin C. It has Topaz powder, or this one has Amatrine powder which helps with skin cell regeneration. And then of course, all of their packaging is fully recyclable. There's no mirrors or magnets. Um, so yeah, so super excited to play with this today. Y'all know I love Aether eyeshadow palettes. It's probably one of my favorite things I've found in Clean Beauty. Um, so this is what the Amatrine one looks like. I already dug my fingers in this one, swatched it, but I have not put them on the eyes. So I'm super excited to do that today. And I want to do something a little smoky and try and use every single shade in this palette. This is definitely my kind of palette. I love these more purpley tones. And uh, I think this is just going to be so, so, so gorgeous for kind of the fall and winter time. All right, we're just going to go in. I'm going to take this shade, let's see, this one, which is Copper Rose. And I'm taking it on this Persona, I think it's their multi-use eye brush or something. It's one of my favorite brushes. And I'm going to focus this shade right on the outer corner. This shade is a very shimmery shade. Uh, there's only one matte shade in the entire palette, and it's this light, the lightest one. But I'm just going to start working this in the outer corner. And I actually watched a video by Melissa Alatorre, and she was talking about eyeshadow placement. And she did this whole tutorial just foc focusing on her eyes. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try and replicate her method because her eye makeup always just looks so gorgeous. So I'm just focusing this right on this outer corner. I'm going to kind of start creating the shape that I want, which I like a more angular kind of V-shape. You can, of course, round it out or, you know, do whatever you want. And if you can hear weird noises, my dog is in, this, in the room with me, and uh, she's snoring and making a bunch of weird noises. All right, so I'm gonna take that same shade and I'm gonna run that on my inner corner and do a little spotlight spotlight action. So I'm gonna go in with a clean blending brush, no product on it, and I'm just gonna start kind of buffing this out, softening it up. All right, and then I'm gonna take the shade Connection, just this matte shade. All right, I'm going to take this shade and start kind of working this 
through my upper crease. For the center of the lid, I'm going to take this shade, which is called Rose Gold. And I'm going to take it on a flat brush. And I'm actually going to use a little bit of this face mist. Spray my brush down, get it nice and damp. And then I'm going to dip my brush into Rose Gold. And I'm going to take this across the center of the lid all the way up through my crease towards the brow. Alright, so now I'm going to take the shade Spiritual Realm, which is the darkest shade, on an angled brush. And I'm just going to push this right into my lash line. right on this outer third and kind of smoke it up, blend it up just by using these wiping motions in an upward direction. And then before kind of perfecting everything, I know it's looking a little patchy like right here. Um, I'm going to move to the lower lash line and then I'll go back in and kind of perfect everything and all that. So I'm going to go back into my palette. I'm going to take the shade Copper Rose, which is this one. And I'm just going to run this along the outer corner of my lower lash line. I'm just going to mimic what I did on the upper lash line. So outer and inner corners. I'm going to leave the center blank. All right, then I'm going to go into the shade Connection, which is the matte shade. And I'm just going to run this along my lower lash line all the way across just to really soften and smoke in this. Smoke this out. Smoke in. Out. And then I'm going to take a really, really small pencil brush or fine pointed brush. Spray it with some of that Ciate spray. And then I'm going to take the shade Rose Gold. And I'm just going to place that right in the center of my lower lash line. Just mimicking what I've done on top so we kind of create that spotlight effect. And then final step, I'm going to go back in with my angled brush and the deepest shade in the palette, which is Spiritual Realm. And I'm just going to focus that right on the very outer corner of my lower lash line. All right, so I like the way that this looks. Uh, this palette is absolutely gorgeous. Everything is just looks so beautiful together. I kind of wish that this rose gold shade was just a hint lighter because I feel like, I don't know if it's translating on camera, but in real life, I feel like I wish it had a little bit more of a contrast in comparison to these other shades. But the palette is absolutely gorgeous. The formula is amazing. The shimmers are beautiful. This matte shade is beautiful. Um, and I love the eye look that I created. And you can definitely create an entire look with, with just this one palette, which I love that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start kind of tweaking things. And then we will uh, move on to mascara. I'm going to take a tiny bit of my milk powder. You can use whatever kind of face powder, translucent powder. And I'm just going to use this to soften up this outer edge. Make sure it's not too harsh. It's nice and soft and blended. And then also just right here in this inner corner too. And then now my final step, I promise. I'm going to take a little bit of my Lawless highlighter. Just put a tiny bit of that right on the brow. And a tiny bit right in that inner corner just a little bit so i'm gonna curl my lashes apply mascara off camera and then we'll come back and finish off the look all right so mascara is on and i'm actually gonna go in with a little go in with a little bit of eyeliner this is the era perez jojoba eye pencil in bronze it's a nice like bronzy brown shade um, but i think it'll look really really nice with this eye look so I'm just going to put that in my waterline. So I have a new lipstick from Lawless as well. This is their Satin Luxe Classic Cream Lipstick in the shade Annie. I've never tried their lipsticks before and I haven't tried this yet. So this is what it looks like. 
and it just looks like a really pretty nude. Um, so we're going to try this today. It's a little on the warmer side, but it's kind of peachy, so I think it'll look really nice with this look. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips first with Bodyography's Pouty. Oh wow, that is very nude. It looks darker in the bullet. All right, actually that looks nice. It's a little, little on the nude side. I'm gonna take a little bit more of my lip liner and just add that for a little bit more color. All right, guys, so that completes this look. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found this relaxing and a nice break from your day. I will continue to play with everything that I used today. I will say, so far, I am loving these eyeshadows. They are absolutely stunning, um, and you really cannot go wrong with Aether eyeshadows. So this is so fun. If you've been wanting to try some of her eyeshadows but don't want to commit to the very high price tag maybe just getting one of these smaller ones might be a good option especially if you know you just like to use a few shades anyway something like this where you just have a nice curated selection of colors that might be something nice to have in your makeup bag so super impressed with this um yeah love this a ton and this will definitely be going in my uh, top drawer of my vanity for just kind of everyday use so i love that and i will continue to play with everything else but thank you so much for hanging out with me today remember i love you god loves you and i will see y'all in my next video bye guys